On my gym website, my homepage shows my gyms and trainers. I now want to advertise my gym classes. The one thing I'm missing for it is images. An easy way to show great looking images is by using a gallery. A gallery like this one, which I created using Toolset. I'll show you how. On the WordPress backend, I head to Pages and I click to edit my gym's home page. On the home page, I scroll down to the section in which I want to add my gallery. Now I click to add a block. I'm using a toolset block, so I head to the toolset section and click the gallery block. I now have a choice of three gallery styles, grid, masonry or collage. For now, I'll select masonry. Next I choose my images. Because it's a static gallery, I'll select them from the media library. Here I can select the images to display. I use the drag and drop feature to arrange the order of the images for the gallery. Now I have my gallery in the masonry style. Even though I've already created the gallery, I can still drag and drop the images to change the order. On the right, I can customize the gallery. Under masonry settings, I can change the number of images per row. And the spacing between the images. Under gallery settings, I can turn the captions on or off and the light box as well. You might be wondering what a light box is. Here's the gallery on the front end. If you click an image, it takes up the screen. That is the light box. Under the same section, I can also change the size of the image from thumbnail to full size. Under caption style, I can edit the font and the background of the captions. Under style settings, I can add a background color, a marginal padding, and a border. But perhaps the most interesting section is the gallery style, where I can change my gallery to one of the other styles. For example, the collage. I can select which layout I want for it, or I can design my own. You can learn more about designing your own in the video on how to create custom layouts. With a collage gallery, I can choose to change the layout again, and also adjust the gallery's height. Finally, I have the grid gallery. Under grid settings, I can crop the images so they're the same size on each row or keep their original sizes. In fact, I'll delete the largest image and will leave the others with the cropped setting. I can always add additional images below if needed. I want to see how this gallery looks, so I'll save it and check it out on the front end. And here's the static grid gallery on the front end with a light box for each image.